What's up guys, Sean here. So today we've got the unique Typhoon H Plus um, and uh, I'm gonna go through some of the pan modes on this guy. One of my favorite things about the unique Typhoon line of drones is that for one, their cameras are swappable. So you can take one camera off and put another camera on and it'll, it'll still fly and function. But the other thing is the fact that the drone can go 360 degrees um, now that's not all unique Typhoons, but the Typhoon H series um, are the ones with the um, landing gear that rises and the camera that can go 360 degrees. So you might ask yourself why that's important. One of the biggest struggles with drone manufacturers is um, having a heavy battery and having propellers that will lift that heavy battery and having, having a battery that lasts long enough to carry that battery around. Because when you think about drones, the heaviest part of a drone is the battery. And so there's this constant ebb and flow of, um, well, do I make the battery last longer? If I make the battery last longer, it'll be heavier um, and it'll take more power to lift it. So, so how do I make that battery last longer because it's going, going, going? Um, a lot of the drones that I have have cameras fixed to the front of them or fixed underneath of them. So if you think of the DJI Phantom series, the camera's underneath, but it doesn't spin around. Um, if you think of the, you know, the Peridonafi, it has a camera on the front, but it doesn't spin around. So you, and then I have the DJI Spark. It's got the camera on the front. Um, all the Mavics have cameras on the front of them. So in order to turn the camera, you have to turn the entire drone. Um, it takes a lot more energy to turn the drone and hold it steady than it does to just leave the drone in hover mode, okay? Um, the beauty of the unique Typhoon H drones is I can just hover it. I can hover the drone wherever I want it to be and I can turn the camera. So I think it's very important when you go out to um, to fly your drones to understand your equipment. So this video is going to be understanding the pan mode on the unique Typhoon H plus. Pretty sure the pan functionalities for the unique Typhoon H are, were exactly the same. Okay guys? So this will be my first video with my new GoPro Hero 7. So we're gonna see how this works as a, as a B camera. Um, I'm recording in 4K um, 60 frames per second on both of them, so pretty sweet. So, the first pan mode we're gonna try is F mode, okay? Now we're gonna turn the knob and look at the camera. The camera's not doing a thing, okay? It's beeping for some reason. It's beeping whenever I go to the center, but it's not moving. So what that means is this camera is only gonna pan it's gonna it's basically the camera is gonna stay pointing forward and in order to pan your shot you have to use the aircraft to pan it okay it would fly like a Phantom series okay or any of the other drones that I talked about um, the camera is gonna stay facing forward and then you turn the drone to turn your shot okay then we're gonna put it in the middle mode and I want you to watch the camera to see what happens I'm gonna turn the knob to the right Okay guys, so what happened to the camera? The camera pointed at the angle that I turned the knob to. Okay, I'm gonna turn the knob a little bit more. Now it's pointing almost sideways, a little farther. I'm gonna point it, turn it all the way around to the back and it's pointing straight back. Okay guys, now if I wanna point it straight back, again, I can turn it all the way around and it'll point straight back. So what it's doing is you're taking a 360 degree um, radius and you're pointing in different areas in it. So that's what the middle pan mode does on the controller, okay? Um, interesting, here's something that's interesting. As you can see, the camera's pointing straight back. When I switch back up to F mode, watch the camera and see what it does. So the camera goes right back to the first position, okay? So whenever you switch pan modes, 
um, it's helpful to understand that if you want the camera to go back center, and it, I'm pretty sure it's the tilt and the pan is going to go back to to one to zero zero. It's going to go to all the axes axes are going to reset each other. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the middle pan mode, and as you can see, I'm still stuck wherever I want to go. So there's also a notch in here right in the dead center. So I, I, it's kind of a little groove. You can feel when I put it there, my camera is dead center again. Okay, so it's pointing wherever the drone's pointing. So if you're ever in a position where you're really far away from your drone and you can't really tell from a distance where that camera's pointing or where the drone's pointing, now there's LEDs underneath this so you can you can tell what direction it's pointing but sometimes on a bright day you can't trust those LEDs because they're so far away so a good tip um, to figure out which direction your drone is pointing is to put it up and put your pan mode up in F and and it'll your camera will go back to zero zero and you'll you'll know exactly where your drone is pointing okay so now we're gonna move um, pan mode into the G mode okay and what the G mode does is G mode is like an infinite loop that just continues to spin around until you give it a different um, procedure so what the turning does um, it allows you to get these really smooth um, transition shots um, really smooth pan shots um, sometimes it's hard to, to use um, either the pinch method or your thumbs to pan a drone. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to turn it ever so slightly to the right. And as you can see, my pan is continually going to the right, but um, the rotation is fixed. So it's not ramping up or slowing down it's just staying at the same um, speak pan speed so the pan speed is staying consistent the entire time now I can speed it up or I can put it back when you put it in the center um, in the center notch the pan stops and if you turn it in the other direction so I'm going to turn it left a little bit all of a sudden I'm panning around to the left okay now if you're up there and you're spinning around you're all dizzy and you can't figure out which way to go smack it up to F and now you know what direction your drones pointing okay guys okay so now that I've shown you what these things can do we're gonna go through some pans real quick okay we've got it in F mode remember F mode doesn't do anything unless you're somewhere else okay now we're switching to the middle mode we're going to turn to the left we're going to point over at the GoPro okay guys and we're going to go back to center now we're going to go over here that's the landing gear guys Okay, so that is the middle mode of pan. Now we're going to go to the G. Okay, we're just going to do a slow pan. And as you keep, as you can see, guys, it's just panning really, really slow. Um, and this is a great way to get smooth shots, guys. Um, it's one thing to be able to fly your drone really, really smoothly, but it's another thing to um, take shots from a hover position and get smooth panning as well. Whenever you're trying to get a smooth buttery shot, flying the aircraft, pointing the camera, turning the camera, doing all those things at the same time takes some skill. Um, but sometimes you just want to focus on flying the drone. Um, so if you have your pan mode in G and you just have the drone spinning like that, the camera is just going to be just going to 
pan so you can get your shot, but then you can fly the drone freely however you like. Um, and when you've got two axes moving at the same time, it, it creates a really cool shot, guys. So that's it, guys. That's pan mode on the Unique Typhoon H+. I hope you guys like this demonstration. Um, please stay tuned to my channel. Like, subscribe for more videos on the Unique Typhoon H+. And, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video, guys. I think the pan mode is, is one of the sweet little extras you get with the Unique drone um, that I think other drone pilots don't know what they're missing. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, Peace out, guys.